So what's up guys? Welcome to Rafa's Garage. Today I'm working on the Celica. It has a check engine light. I'm gonna show you guys right now what code it has. So it's coming out as insufficient coolant temperature, closed loop. It's weird. O2 sensor and O2 sensor bank two. So it's marking both of them. So I'm gonna replace the first one first and then probably swap out the other one also. Might as well. So I'm just checking the other code, which is saying that it's not going into closed loop which is the temperature control sensor, which is down here by the battery. Uh, it's that one right there. Checked it out, wasn't corroded. Checked my coolant, it's not low. As you can see, it's full. And it's operating at normal temperatures, so. Either way, I'm going to swap out the O2 sensor because it's the original one. It's probably has what this car has, 200 and something miles on it. So it needs to be changed, changing both of them. And then I'll figure out what's going on with my uh, temperature sensor which this one should have been that old because this motor only has probably like 150. And it's came with the motor, I didn't take it off. But I'll diagnose that later. First thing is the O2 sensors. So I'm just gonna lift up the car. O2 sensors are over here, pretty easy. Uh, you can see them um, where the cat is at. So right there you see it so i'm replacing that one and i'm gonna replace the one in the back <laughs> it should be fairly easy just lift it up unplug screw off and that's it there it's sensor number one it's bank one sensor one and then this one right here is bank two. Oh no, bank one, sensor two. We only have one bank, so it's bank one. We have a V6 or a V8, then they go by banks. So all it is, all you need is a crescent wrench, uh, cause I don't got the right size for this, which is, uh, I'm not sure if it's a three eighths or, or three fourths forgot um and you gotta unplug these from the top I'll show you guys right now i'm gonna go to the top and unplug it forgot so the o2 sensors are right here um i have these extended because i put some spacers on my o2s to fool the cat but this is sensor two, and I'm pretty sure this is sensor one. Um, so I'm gonna unplug both of them. Sensors are disconnected. Now I just gotta unscrew them with my crescent wrench. We got a problem um this one is not the sensor that i have this one is the original denzel this one's the back one so i guess my muffler shop tried to be slick and put up an aftermarket and took my original one and he also fucked up the thread so that means i have to re-thread my fucking header 
eat that up. Time to head to AutoZone. Kami's already inside. Let's go, mamas. Let's go. Well, they had a, what do you call it? A tap and die set. Um, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't big enough for the O2 sensor. But I was able to find this. Let me see if it works. Let me try it out for the O2 sensor threat, ch threat chaser. So let's see if it works. So I have some two used O2 sensors I had from parting out some cars or some Celicas. And hopefully they do work. Um, and I got both. Uh, I believe this one right here, the one on the left is sensor one because it's shorter. And then sensor two has a longer wire. So I'm gonna put it on. But first, I'm gonna give this a try, see if it works. Uh, simple, just put it on and we thread it. It's on the 3 8 sides. So, wrench, or you can use the O2 sensor screws, probably the same size, which I believe it is. But let me give it a work. See it works. It did work. So it did work. I was able to put it on. It's nice. And now I just gotta plug it up and put those seals on there and that one over there so time to erase the light and go for a test drive let's go yoda hoping these o2 sensors still work if not i gotta go buy new ones but at least i got one issue fixed Are you coming? <laughs> so yeah, I deleted it. I started up. Light is off. Time for a test run.